Hey everybody, how we doing today? I forgot the GoPro again. Nice. <laughs> so we're gonna do another iPhone fishing day. Hooray, my favorite. What a pain in the butt. So the original plan was to work on Grand Slam fishing, uh, tarpon bonefish permit. Uh, I even brought a few uh, frozen shrimp to test the waters out here to see if I could find some uh, crab spots. Uh, try to find some little blue crabs. But I think since I'm all the way out here and that's when I figured out, hey, there's not a camera where it's supposed to be, that uh, I think I'm just gonna do a quick run through, scout it out, come back out tomorrow and do it right. Um, it's just too much of a hassle to try to film anything and then to do something like bonefish and permit and tarpon on one day or one evening. So I have a very beautiful day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, so tomorrow is even supposed to be even better. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, today's a good day to do a shakedown run, make sure I don't forget anything like the camera, make sure the motor's running, all my stuff is here. So I think I'm gonna just convert to that. Uh, if I catch a couple things, that'll be good. And uh, we'll go from there, so that's the plan. It's a gorgeous day out here. Perfect for sight fishing. Um, it's a weird flat tide. There's not really a high tide, low tide. It's like a, a constant low, so it's a little bit odd. Uh, the other thing I could do is verify my route getting back, but otherwise, we got that nice visibility. So the only thing is with the water being like low like this, I don't think there's gonna be much out here, but uh, we'll see what we can find. Uh, rigging wise, I'm gonna go with the uh, eighth ounce. Uh, this is the 30 degree angled head, uh, all about the bait, bonefish, jig head, bucktail. And then on this rod, I'm gonna go with the quarter ounce since uh, I'm fishing next to a channel. So if I see some in deep, then I'll throw this uh, quarter ounce and that'll sink a bit faster than the one eighth ounce. Uh, both of these are the tan with the bucktail brown. So uh, that's what we're going with today because that's what I've got. For our tarpon, I've got the old uh, fly rod set up with the Shimano fly in the pink. So that's been on that rod for probably coming on a month now. So caught quite a few. So that'll be what I'll be using to uh, get my tarpon. All right, looking for the bonefish. It's very shallow right now. So I'm gonna work the edge of this channel to see, but I also need to keep a look at these deeper pools in here to make sure that, oh, nope, that wasn't it. Thought those were some boners there, but those are just big mahua or mohara. So I'm gonna just keep drifting along here. Hopefully I see them far enough out and then I'm gonna drop the anchor because I can't hold this phone like this but you can get the gist of what I'm doing here. Oh, right there, there's one there. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, false alarm, that was a cuda. Right there. That's okay. I wanna slow down and just take my time because that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna be sitting in these deeper pockets here, just hanging out. But because the water is so shallow, I think they're going to be in the deeper edges. All right, moving on. Look at the big old groupers. Big old groupers. Smile. A couple big goliaths. Not what I'm wanting. They're like, what are you doing in our neighborhood? Oh, I see. I see big snook look at all the snook oh look at all the snook 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 there goes the other snook and it's not what we wanted stuff just kicking back waiting for that water to come up those are all snappers and grunts snappers and grunts snappers and grunts grunts lots of grunts Lots of grunts. Grunts, grunts, grunts. 
Oh, Goliaths, more Goliaths. See, if I would have brought my underwater camera, then even though I forgot my main camera, I could use that camera. Plus I can get this awesome footage, sharky shark. But nope, I'm using this stupid guy phone, risking dropping it overboard. Cudas, Cudas schmudas, more grunts. Grunts, grunts, grunts. Not seeing the boners. Doesn't mean they're not here. Ooh, those are all snappers. Snapper, snapper, snappers. Lots of snappers. More snappers. More and more snappers. More and more and more. Oh, there's a Goliath. More snappers. More snappers or those grunts? Those are grunts. Those are grunts. Grunts, 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 grunts. Lots of grunts. Oh, lots of grunts. Not seeing any bone airs. Well, it's good to know today. I'll have to adjust my plans for tomorrow. Alright, so now I'm going to run down the other edge and see what I see. Look at that massive ball of pilchards down there. Or those glass minnows are a mixture of both. Look at all of it. Look at all of it. Just a big old cloud. Man, it's just, the whole thing is just black from the bait. I was thinking about throwing my net, but not anymore. There's bigger pilchers along the bottom and then the smaller glass minnows along the top. Man, look at that, it's just blacked out. Looks like weeds down there. See, these are some nicer ones down there. Coming to the end of it finally. Holy schmoly, look at all of them. Look at all of them. All these kudas smacking on them. All right. Interesting. Oh, what's all these guys? Uh, these are all nice snappers. Nice snappers. They want me to throw the cast net. All right, I gotta get to the other side in the, the channel here and drift it. Look at all the tarpon. They're just rolling right across there where those uh, glass minnows and minnows are right there. Ha ha ha. All right, they're, they're following me. All right, let me see if I can get reset here. Look at them pocket full of them. There we go. They started sneaking up on me. Couldn't drop the anchor because I'm set up for deep. Pretty cool. Alright, I got to the other side of them. So I'm on the better side of the wind. I'm gonna go ahead and drop anchor here quietly. I want to have my anchor to the back. Yeah, that's about right. I could see them pretty good if they come across here, but my main thing is I want to shoot across that way in that deeper water there. A little bit of a longer cast, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna watch them, watch them, and throw on them. So that's the plan. I can't hold this camera while I'm fly fishing, so you're just gonna have to watch from below. 
make sure nothing else is sneaking up on me. All right, Let's see where they go. All right, we've got set up here. I need to get a lot of line out. So it's gonna false cast this way. Get lots of line out. Can't see them because of the glare. Just every once in a while they'll roll. Oh, right there. All right, I think I got a decent enough shot doing it from here. Oh, oh, dang it. Right on them, right on them. Oh no. Oh, they're messing with it. Oh, they already hit it. They were hitting it when I was entangling it. Oh, oh. God dang it. Shoot, this stupid thing keeps getting caught. All right, you can see them rolling there just at the edge. I don't want to throw all the way that far. A lot of slack out that way. Wind's blowing this way, so I'm gonna have a loop in my line. I don't like that. So they're just swimming around. They're happy, so no need to rush them. Um, I'd ultimately like to hit them right around that spot there, that spot there, a little bit closer here so I don't have so much of a slack line out. I'd like to go wait after them would be cool, but then I can't take the camera with me. So we're just gonna be patient. There, I'm using my 2X zoom. Uh, if you can see them. There, where's my finger at? All right, about there. They're lined up, just kind of hanging there, looking at me, slowly swimming towards me. So they're getting there. I got greedy because I saw some rolling out there. And I moved over to try to get in line with them and then the main body was still in this spot that I they were originally at so now they're up there somewhere I spooked them oh there they are dad nab it there's a cuda there well, there's a good 30 of them not so easy to get a shot at them this way, but they're all right there. Oh, going up in there. Might go up into those mangroves. Definitely saw me though. That's not good. I ended up landing that tarpon this phone overheated and shut off and then wouldn't do anything until it cooled off so let that guy go um let me see if I can flip you around here 
Uh, the tarpon are still here. They didn't spook out, so that was good. They're still rolling in this hole here. Uh, but I think I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna work this left-hand side, see if I could find any of the bonefish. Uh, even if I could just see them would be good. Uh, so making plans for tomorrow. So, and these tarpon should still be around and my other tarpon spots are not too far. So let's see what we can see. There's a massive school of something. I don't see them anymore. They were a lighter color, kind of skinny, but probably 10 to 12 inch. And they were just like blocking out the whole top of the water. I think they're, yeah, they're over there. You can't see, I could barely see, so you're probably not gonna be able to see, but they're just under the water and that whole thing from there all the way over to there is just top full of them. I don't know what those are. Odd. All right, we're coming up on them. I don't know if those are mullet. What are those? Oh, mangroves. Holy crap, look at that school of mangroves. Mangroves and mangroves and mangroves and mangroves. Look at them. Look at them, look at them. Look at the shark chasing them. Look at all these mangroves. What is the deal? Guess they're chasing those pilcher pods. There's some decent ones mixed in there too, but primarily just all a bunch of schoolies. Should I try to catch one? Man, look at all those mangroves. What's the deal? Coolio. Be nice to have my GoPro, be able to put it under the water so you can see them or see them better. Man, thousand mangroves. Not one bonefish. Well, I found a bonefish. A massive school of them all going across there. Can't see them now, but they're there. I saw one other school, but it was all big ones. And then that's the main school up here. So, all right, that's what I want to know. We're good for tomorrow. Alrighty, I am done. I got my bonefish, went down, hit the camera or the phone, and just a therm thermometer, pink. Your device is overheating and can't do anything until it cools off. So I figured what it is, is I was trying to leave it on camera, not uh, recording, but just on camera. But I guess because of the heat, it's 86 degrees today, 110 heat index but it basically is just cooking it when it's like that so only way i could keep using it is to turn it off then when i'm ready to use it see a fish come in i have to basically hit the button hold it up to my face get the password thing going swipe to uh, photo switch it to uh, video and then make sure my directional on what's front or back is gone and then set it up and then i can start recording and then that's useless <laughs> so i basically caught a bonefish rolled in tried to take a video of it did that messing around it jumped off got pissed off so i'm calling it i'm heading home uh on the way over here to the cut to get back across i did run into four permit so that's a good sign there uh probably not going to work the best over here this weekend uh I'll have to use it for like a weekday time frame, but it's good to see those are there, but I've got a different spot for those. I actually wanted to come out here and uh, try for some blue crabs, uh, permit size, half dollar size uh, blue crab. So that will be on my next trip, I think. But uh, otherwise I'm gonna try to see if I could wiggle my way home and not get stuck before the sun sets. But otherwise I'm gonna take advantage of this massive little island here and uh, hang out a bit and call it a day so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye all righty we are back sun is still up shining uh i took the correct route i didn't veer try to take shortcuts i just went the route that i know works uh didn't get high stuck didn't get in had to push paddle didn't have to get out and drag the kayak 
I just had to follow the route. It's a lot longer route, but I'm continually moving forward. So that worked out good. It even took longer because that stupid fuel valve, I can only go about hundred yards before it, uh, something happens into it and it cuts off the fuel and then I have to mess with it. And then fuel starts flowing hundred yards stop. So that part sucks, but otherwise it worked out good. Very happy there. Uh, if you're wondering, there is the GoPro. Boom. Uh, the reason why I miss it is because my jacket is there and it's black and I can't see it or I don't notice it and it gets left here. So that's like the second or third time I've done that. But oh well, I got some footage. It's a uh, pain filming with this uh, this iPhone, but definitely with that overheating thing is not good. So we'll have to work on that. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.